Okay, so All this right. is going to be a little different. We are uh, going to be playing Fortnite on the political channel. And I got a special guest, Kane. Hello, Kane. Hi. So, uh, Kane is a longtime friend of mine. Uh, a lot of my uh, subscribers, viewers over on the other channel know about Kane because we play a lot together. Yeah. But I think this is the first time you ever get to venture over here on the political channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, 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 who, who, who would I love, you know, I, I, I don't mind like jumping into the trenches with my friend, you know, yeah. <laughs> the trenches of politics, yeah. especially with the shit show going on in my country right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The UK has a lot of crap going on in their country, too. Yeah. I mean, you Americans thought you have it bad. <laughs> yeah. We got a commie in charge, a commie spy. Oh, yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. allegedly. Don't you arrest have, me, you have Keir to say Stalin. that allegedly. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but, all, all I'm saying is that, that Czechoslovakia did have some files on him, so I mean, uh, I'm 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 not saying anything, <laughs> but I mean, you got to ask the old Czechoslovakian government about that. Oh yeah, that's funny. Well, not really funny for the UK because yeah, he has a pretty crappy prime minister. But uh, we do have yeah. an election in the US coming up in a few days from now: Trump versus uh, Harris. And uh, credit to Upper Echelon. I'm going to link their video, uh, his video below in the description section if you want to go check this out for yourself. Uh, incidentally, I was watching this video while you guys were playing Blob 6 in a party chat. And for some reason, yeah. you and Destiny started just talking about it while I was watching. I'm like, yeah, I just, I'm watching it. And I even posted it in Discord. <laughs> so it was kind of a weird timing. And ever <laughs> yeah. since I watched the video by Upper Echelon, I was like, you know what? We're going to Freedom Town, USA. We're going to go check it out. So that that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so, yeah, first, let's oh, read boy. the description. Let me go down here. All right. Let's see. Details. <laughs> Welcome to Freedom Town, USA. Team up with friends and help Kamala Harris build a brighter future for our city. <laughs> From clean what? energy to epic landmarks, it's time to create a, a new way forward together. Gather resources, unlock challenges, and shape the future. Your choices matter. Let's get building. So that's the uh, description section. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, oh. guns are not allowed in Freedom Town, USA. That's why I picked Marigold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I pick Peter Griffin because Seth MacFarlane is a Kamala Harris simp. Okay. <laughs> right. Anyways. Well, I mean, he's basically a Democrat simp. Most, well, pe most people I mean, in Hollywood are thing. Democrat I mean, simps. A lot, of, a lot of people in Hollywood are Democrat. I mean, in fact, they, they did this whole thing with, what, the Avengers? Like, all of them, all, like, not all of them, but a lot of them just magically just got on a phone call and all of them endorsed Kamala Harris. I mean, it felt so organic and totally not contrived or astroturf. You have only a few days yeah, to go to like, the election. It's like that call with uh, Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. Oh, yeah, like when, when she first, first announced him as the VP. It, it felt so fucking real. It was so amazing. So, yeah. so organic. So you know, natural. Totally not scripted, but whatever. Yeah, so real. <laughs> All right, so so let's go to Freedom Town, USA, where we have the freedom not to have guns. You know, so we're going to oh, go boy. here. But yeah, uh, once, oh. once again, uh, Upper Echelon's video, link below in the description section. Uh, Ken, do you want your channel promoted in my description section? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure thing, yeah. I, I guess. I mean, yeah. I occasionally talk about the shit state of uh, UK yeah. politics on my channel. Yeah. More, more, more of it's a random conversation that Brits brought up on streams and videos. Yes. But, yeah, uh, I do. I also yeah. occasionally in my videos, I'll bring up like the situation going on, on in the UK, mainly because of things you tell me about and things I look into. So yeah, the situation yeah. in the UK does suck and I, I hope that eventually things turn around in uh, the UK. Matchmaking error. Oh, I just gotta... What do you mean matchmaking oh. error? Oh. Wait, did I let you in? Because <laughs> I'm connecting. Alright, let me try it again. Okay. I mean, we're off to a great start with uh, Vice President Harris's uh, Freedom Town USA. That's probably what's going to happen if she's elected. There'll be lots of matchmaking errors. Oh boy. Preparing to join server. Let me play. Come on, let me in, Kamala. I mean, I did already vote, so yay. So here's the thing. I know that adults play the game like, well, we try to be adults. You know. Yeah. I mean what is an adult anymore? But I mean What the fuck is this place? I feel like it's so dystopian. Yeah, well Kane's already there and he's not even American. He gets to 
getting there first before I do. Like, what's that all about? <laughs> oh God. Maybe that's maybe maybe she's saying something about immigration, right? So, Kang, you just have to sneak oh, across the border and you're good to go. <laughs> well, I ain't fucking sneaking into Kamala Harris's America, that's for damn sure. Yeah, it still has me prepared. Now, maybe if uh, if there is a chance that Trump somehow comes back, then yeah, I'll fucking sneak in there. Well, you're not going to be able to if Trump's president. <laughs> you'll have well, to, I'll do it legally, yeah, then. Yeah, you'll have to do it legally, which, you know what? Most countries, you know, do have a legal process for becoming citizens. I, I don't see why... Yeah, that should not be a thing in the U.S. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. It, it could use some improvements. But hopefully, eventually, uh, I'll be able to join Freedom Town USA. Because I, I want that freedom um, that, that Vice President Harris is promising off all of our other promises. Is it still loading for you? It's, yeah, it's still, it says preparing, join the <laughs> server. And I'm the host. I'm the host here. Like, Yeah, realistically, you should be the one to get in first. Not, yeah, no, not me. Well... You know, th this this is very symbolic here when it comes to uh, Harris's future. Like, no guns allowed in Freedom Town, USA, and uh, the American doesn't even get to get into Freedom Town, USA. <laughs> yeah. But but someone who's not a not an American citizen gets to. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Yeah. Well, let's look sense. at these freaking posters. All right. Promise of America. What the fuck kind of slogan is that? All right. So before you spoil anything else for me, may maybe I should we should back out and try this again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, it's not. It's not letting <laughs> me in, all, though. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not spoiling it. I'm not spoiling like yeah. like, like uh, everything. But this fucking side I've seen, you're gonna fucking right. die of laughter when you see it when you get in. All right. I mean, there's there's only what 469 people. Like, is there is there like a cap? It's oh, uh, I think that's the amount of people playing right now. Waiting, there, there's less than 500 people in this stupid server. Ah, uh, let me I'm in. I, I want to go to Freedom Town. Come on. <laughs> All right, so oh, finally, let me in. Again. Explore Freedom City. Uh, start your construction business. Uh, help the city. Okay, uh, I look forward to this nonsense. Oh Lord. By the way, uh, anyone watching, uh, your thoughts, views, opinions regarding Freedom Town USA, welcome below in the. Uh, comment section now here's another issue i want to bring up really quick upper echelon pointed out the fact that that this is technically in violation of uh epic's uh terms of service whether commercial content or not your island is your island's uh metadata must not include calls to action outside fortnite solicitation to join participation in or donate to world religion political organization or military organization so, this is obviously a political organization and a call to action. <laughs> this is a clear violation of Epic's terms of services. Uh, Epic. Look at this. So, Look at these fucking sides. We're yeah. not going back. We are fucking going back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. This, <laughs> look at look, that. And for the record, I don't think that Trump should have his own version of Freedom Town. He doesn't, by the way, but I, I would be just as against this as as I am for uh, Kamala Harris's. So, I mean, this is a clear violation. I don't understand. Okay, let's let's uh, get welcome to Freedom Town. Uh, starting out, okay, let me read this. Hey, you made it just in time. Kamala Harris's uh, 50,000 small business tax break. Okay, where is that $50,000 coming from, Kamala? We're trillions of dollars in debt, and yet yeah, you're magically gonna make $50,000 appear? I thought it was 25,000. I guess she's boosted it. But all these other false promises she's been making just to try and win the election. Uh, tax break makes it possible to start your own new construction business. You're going to need all your tools before you can get started creating housing for your community. See, marked where to collect everything you'll need to start building a new way forward for our city. Okay, let's get to it. All right, let's go up. Can't wait to check out Freedom Town, USA. Look at this. Isn't it amazing, Kane? This is... George Orwell wrote a book about shit like oh, this. Oh, yeah, I exactly. I swear down. Like, this is 1984. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. So, that, that's pretty much what this is. Oh, oh, this is the money that we're promised by Kamala. So you won't have to actually earn money. You just run around and pick up the money. Oh, I'm getting lots yep. of XP for the Battle Pass I never bought because I didn't really care about this season. 
Is oh my it... god, guys! We get an XP for president! Where, where are my guns? Oh, that's right. We're, we're in Kamala's Freedom Town. Never mind. Where? <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting guns unless you're an illegal, buddy. Yeah, see, she talks out both sides of her mouth, as usual. On one hand, she says, I, I'm not gonna take away your guns, I'm a gun owner. Then she talks about assault weapons bans, but almost any gun can be considered mm. a quote-unquote assault weapon. But, yay. Yeah. So we're, we're getting free money to vote for Kamala, hooray. Free Fortnite coins. That's the new currency that's going to be like yeah. added to the U.S. like dollar when she gets elected. That, yeah. That's how like amazing she is. Unfortunately, adding a whole new currency. Fortnite coins and V Bucks might be more valuable than the dollar by then. <laughs> and what? Did, what I swear, like, did, like, I, I, like, sorry for interrupting, but I swear, like, you, you remember when the Russian-Ukraine war like first kicked off, like uh, two years ago? Yeah. I swear down. At one point, the ruble was like had less value than fucking V bucks and Robux. It did. That's I true. swear there was there was a point. <laughs> yeah, that that is very true. That was crazy. That. <laughs> All right. So right now we're just exploring Freedom Town, Freedom Plaza. And all, all, the, all these balloons, I mean, isn't that affecting climate change with, with all that fire, Kamala? Yeah. I mean, how is that Very helping gassy. the environment? That's just wasting more, like, you know, gas and all that. And I'm pretty sure, like, in a couple of years from now, we're going to be running out of helium. Can, can we drive the bus? Oh, the buses are all broke down and because uh, we ran out of gas and energy. Yeah, because... And Gas prices are way are way higher than they were under like Trump. And things have gotten so bad, people have stolen all the seats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So what is this? The Statue really... of Liberty has been relocated to Freedom Town. I thought I saw the 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 uh, the, San, the St. Louis Archway. Yeah, there it is. It's over there. So it's got moved over here to Freedom Town. So, so things are being relocated to Freedom Town from across the country. And that's. That's how, that's how free this place is, man. They're moving on like the the icons and all that. Yeah. Kamala kicks. Oh my god. <laughs> Kamala's cafeteria. All right, I gotta come look at this. What the? F what the hey, fuck? I see it. I see it. Kamala's cafeteria. Like, what is she gonna be serving? <laughs> some government cheese. <laughs> oh god. Some vegan Tim's products and tacos. government cheese. I don't know. What the fuck? Some, some lovely. Look schmop. at this one. <laughs> Fucking Tim's Tacos. A Tim's Taco. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. And I thought you were cheesy. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this is way more cheesy than I could ever hope to be. Because I am this cheesy. This is like a cheese overdose. This is. But this, this is crazy. Hey. Snow cones. Yay, we can get snow cones here. Awesome. Oh boy. Do we have like chocolate, chocolate chip here? No, we we only have like one snow cone. That's all you get. Uh, Oh, uh, one it singular like, so Was snow it cone. Neapolitan? Like the red, white, blue? Okay. So we got this, the swimming pool. We got more coins. Arch archery! Oh, oh, so archery will be allowed to have bows and arrows. Okay, well, that that's something. Alright. There you go. You're gonna have to become Robin Hood, man. There we go. Hey there, hit the five targets and receive a ticket. What, what ticket am I getting? Alright. Alright. Well, we don't have guns anymore, but we're allowed to have bows and arrows still. So, so thanks, Kamal. At least I'll be able to defend my home from criminals with, with a bow and arrow. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Going, going back a few centuries on this one. Oh, I've got a ticket! Alright, nice. Yay, nice. This, a this, this is a, so much fun. Wow. <laughs> great. This feels like I'm at some sort of like... carnival. Yay! A, a, a like, who's... fucking ticket. Whose fucking idea was this? Like, or, uh, I want to know. Here's another well, whoever's thing. in charge of our campaign deserves a kick in the nose. Like, that's how stupid this idea is. Well, why the fuck is this in Fortnite? Here's the thing: she's made her campaign has made a lot of money in quote unquote donations, and they got to find places to to put the money. And I'm sure a lot of that money hasn't conveniently disappeared. Most likely, I'm, I'm sure it's all legitimate. So yeah, this is one of the things they, they spent their campaign money on was this. Okay. Well, so dumb. I, I, I don't get this. Like, I, like they shouldn't even, like, why is Epic not fucking gotten rid of this? this because, is, this here, is, like, I'll tell you why. Because, look, Epic got money from the, Kampa the Kamala Harris campaign. 
And since, you know, okay. Biden is still president, even though he's busy biting babies for Halloween. And, oh, yeah, I saw that. That's fucking weird, that. Yeah, but, you know, Kamala wants you to forget about the fact that, you know, her, you know the Biden-Harris administration has been in power for nearly four years now. She's going to make all these changes that they could have already done, but they didn't. Uh, so they're still in power, and so Epic wants to stay on their good side. And uh, of course, that they have this, they were allowed to make this thing. And it looks, I mean, it, it looks like somebody they hired some professionals to do this too. This is not some cheap, like uh, Crater Island. I mean, and I'll give them credit. Like the map, it looks pretty fun. Like it looks good, I guess. Yeah. But it's also very like dystopian as well. Like yeah. Coach Waltz is sporting goods. What the fuck is that? Well, allegedly he was a coach. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, but also he fake been in the army as well. Or no, no he was in the army. It's shit. just that there's a, a controversy about about the timing when he got out was around what the Iraq oh, war. Okay. And so some people accuse oh, him okay. of stolen valor. I don't really go there on that issue because I don't think we should have gone to Iraq. I mean, we went under the... I mean, I, I'm with pretenses. you as well, but I mean... Yeah. Like, I mean, look, if it was another war, though, like where we had to go in, then, yeah, I mean, you know... But either way, uh, I don't like, know. That, the, the whole topic of the Iraq War itself is like a really, really like weird topic. Yeah, it's sad because like your country, my country, were both cheerleading going into the war. Yeah, and, and turned out it was all based on a lie. You know, even though Saddam's really bad guy. Oh, oh, they they brought they brought the Liberty Bell all the way over from Philadelphia. So they're just allocating they're just, like landmarks out of different cities throughout the U.S. and bringing them to Freedom Town. Okay. They're just robbing all the states of their landmarks. <laughs> what do you think, like, Mount Rushmore is? Do you think it's just going to be, like, <laughs> Obama, no, no, Biden, Harris, and Mount Rushmore is probably going to get demoed. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, like, most of them are Republicans. No, they're well, not, like, no, they're not Republicans. Are, like, it's just that, yeah. like, Trump was all about Mount Rushmore, and so... Like, Harris is oh. like, nah, okay, well, since, since Trump likes Mount Rushmore, I'm going to just demo it oh lord oh goggles is parkour star oh let's well, do I mean, the parkour yeah, I mean, man lincoln was the first republican so i mean i mean the first republican president so i mean and he's on mount rushmore but george washington's on mount rushmore thomas jefferson's on mount rushmore theodore Ro well theodore roosevelt was also republican so this is this is a very uh, oh. interesting city Got to do the parkour challenge, man. We're gonna get some Kamala bucks. Nice, because I need more of that. Okay. Yeah, man. All right. Let's see. Promise of America. No, I fell so much for my promises. Oh, I got the Biden shades. Let's go. Oh, you got the? No way. Like there, it's at the top. It's at the top. If you get there. All right. <laughs> Fuck. You gotta, you gotta do the uh, the parkour, man. <laughs> All that just for a pair of Biden shades. All right, interact. Okay, what's this? I mean, Constructing it's, 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 parkour. It's, it's really like um, like you know, work goggles, but it looks more like the Biden shades. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. But yeah, I oh, I don't know. Like you're supposed to do some sort of construction job in this game and build a small business, but I mean, we already have small businesses in the U.S. that are struggling right now. And you know, I've been thinking about trying to start my own small business, but the problem is I don't know what to what to do in real life, like when it comes to a new business that doesn't already exist in my area, because it, it costs money, it costs time, and it may not work out. But I mean, I'd also maybe wait until there's a change in the administration. Well, yeah, before, I, I, I want that fifty thousand uh, dollars, Harris. There you go, hook me up. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I would like to believe that a lot of people would use that money legitimately, but I could, I could also see some people uh, conveniently making that 50000 disappear into the stocks. There you go. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll create a, an, an investor small business and take that 50000 and invest it in some crypto. <laughs> oh, hells yeah, dude. Get that Ethereum up, bro. Yeah, because yeah, that's totally good for the environment. Oh, man. But yeah, I mean, they, they clearly spent a few bucks. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Coach Walsh uh, Sporting Goods. Yeah, I, I finally made it. it. Hooray. 
Let's let's go. Like, can can you go across the bridge? Or I don't think that I don't think that exists over there. I don't think that's that's. Oh, I think I think our job is to build the bridge. Oh, we gotta build the bridge to a new America, to GB. <laughs> we're gonna build a bridge to a brand new America under Kamala Harris. Yeah. I totally believe that. So if I and collect all work equipment. No, I won't. Can we take vehicles? No, we can't take vehicles, of course. Why not? Because I think all these vehicles are just props. I don't think you can actually use them, can you? No. Oh, okay. I, 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 found, I found the wall. Okay, I found the wall. It's totally invisible. Oh my god, Kamala, it's the Trump you, wall. You did it. You built a wall. And you also stole the Golden Gate Bridge, too. Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? It looks like it. Oh my God! See that this over there is where Kamala is, you know, and in, in her elite. This is the rest of us have to live here in, in quote unquote Freedom Town. Over there is Elite Town. Yeah, we're not allowed. Like over this there. is <laughs> this is literally 1984. If this is Freedom Town, pretty, like pretty much <laughs> Fre Freedom Not We're literally guns. in air, airstrip, whatever it's called. The book. I'm like, I, I know it's like. An airstrip name, that's what they called the UK during 1984, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's literally it. We're, we're in an airstrip, we are. Pretty much. Yeah, and, like, all the vehicles have broken down and are just abandoned because we ran out of gas. But people have hot air balloons for some reason. I guess that that's the way we're going to be able to travel now, is just with hot air balloons. There you go. Okay, I found the name. It's Airstrip 1. So we're Airstrip 1. Oh, <laughs> Let's wow. go. Yeah, for airstrip one. We're Shout out to George Orwell. Oh, I, I got an emocon. Oh boy, thank you, Epic. I appreciate that. I'll never Wait, use it. Did you get an emocon for Kamala Harris? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they had some of those. I mean, that once again totally oh doesn't God. violate Epic's rules and just like this this entire map. I hope we get like a an emote dance where where it's just her laughing. And we just laughed like her. Yeah, that that's great. That'd be epic. Then, she talks about, oh, well, I come from a middle ca class family. <laughs> yeah, remember, dude, she was working at McDonald's. Oh, yeah. And once again, like... <laughs> hashtag believe Kamala. Yeah. Kamala kicks. But... Kicks what? Kick, kicks away kicks our... Kicks Trump, I guess. Our gun rights? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kicks up, like, average Americans' rights as well. It's okay, though, because, look... Guns may not be allowed here, but but you know my character brought her own guns. <laughs> it's fine. S stop in the name of the because, Kamala because look, Harris fan club. Look, when you make you when you make guns illegal, freedom, everyone will hand over their guns, like the law-abiding citizens, and of course, totally criminals will hand over their guns. Oh, you can't even emote in this mode. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't even express no. yourself. Oh, that, that, that is a violation of freedom of speech there, Kamala. No, like, that's Bro. what people love doing the most in this silly game is emoting. And we can't even emote. I didn't even realize that. that. Wow. That's what Freedom Town's all about. The freedom <laughs> not to be able to defend yourself. By the way, in a game where, you know, the, the big thing about the game is the, um, oh, yeah, the whole, like, uh, Battle Royale pew pewing each other with guns that's kind of like a big part of this uh, game and uh, the other part is the emotes but we're not allowed to do either <laughs> alright so oh race God, mini we can, get, we can win a hat if we race need a helmet for work A uh, show me your skills okay I mean let's go for a race a Ra little racing badly so, so we're allowed yeah, to have motorcycles badly, but it's politicals. Yeah, we'll be allowed to have motorcycles in Kamala's future so that's something. Okay, here we go. Wow, this oh yeah. This is this is so much fun. Whee! Right, this is the most generic like stock standard race I've ever played in a game. Yeah, this is uh, really fun. Like whoever made this race, wow, this is great. I've never had so much fun in my life. I mean, I'd rather go and play rocket racing. <laughs> that's it. Well, at least that th 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 that that's the race. Well, at least I got a motorcycle. Thanks, Kamala. Thank you for for giving us a bike, Kamala. Yeah, finally I have a vehicle. Of course, it it's a motorcycle. It's you know it's a gas zipper. It's also very dangerous. And 
And I'm breaking the rules, I'm not wearing a helmet. <laughs> you should have gotten your helmet, man, for the race! Err! Kamala, come on. You should have your helmet. But, overall, I'm telling Kamala. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think this whole thing's funny. I mean, there's supposedly like under 500 people playing this at the moment of the recording of this video. This misadventure into Freedom Town, USA. Yeah, I didn't complete the race either. I don't give a fuck. Oh, is this still going? For me, it is. But I, I just bounced. <laughs> I, I, took, I took the motorcycle and bounced. I'm like, fuck it. Oh, don't worry. You still keep it even if you do complete the race. Well, thank, thank you, uh, Vice President uh, Harris and Coach Waltz. How, how generous. This is what I spent my 50000 on a, a motorcycle. <laughs> uh, yeah, a dirt bike. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. But yeah, I mean, I know we're we're I guess taking the piss out of this because it's it's funny because this. I mean, this it is, is what, a piss take. Yeah, that's it. Because this this is what the the campaign actually spent money on, and and I can tell. Look, I, I've seen some pretty crappy um, crater maps in Fortnite. And I've seen some decent ones, and this one obviously they, they hired some people that knew what they were doing to build this to their credit. Like the the, the game modes are boring. They're they're boring as hell. But at the same time, like they, they spent some money making this. And it's in violation, once again, of Epic's uh, rules. So this should have never been allowed to be made. And you know if Trump would have made one, they would be like all pissed off. Like if Let's just say Freedom Town USA was was a Trump map, and Trump had money spent on this, right? And it wasn't here. I'm doing alternative reality here, but you know the mainstream media would be mad about this. They'd be citing the the things that I'm citing right now. It would be outrage. Like I can't believe this. How could Trump do this? How could he, like, how could Epic do this? You know, there would be anger and outrage by the mainstream media. But now they're yeah. just promoting this, like, oh wow, they're they're trying to get gamers into into uh, the whole like voting thing. It'd be one thing if this was generic as hell, right, and wasn't promoting anybody, you know, and it just the campaign just happened to build it, and it just said vote or democracy matters, you know, just some generic shit. But it clearly is promoting Kamala's campaign because it says Kamala in big letters. And it also says and Waltz. Don't forget, yeah, there's Waltz there as well. Yep. It's like this shouldn't be allowed. So yeah, this is this is clearly campaign propaganda, which is once again in violation to Epic, the uh, publishers, developers of of the Fortnites. You know, right. you know, now we're talking about the election as well. Like, quick random topic: How are the polls looking right now? I guess we can uh, have that shown well, on the screen. Look, here's the thing about polls, and this is why I don't really like to go by polls too much. But I will bring oh, okay. up, I'll bring up real clear politics at the end because I like to use them. Like the polls, okay. you're going to find polls that are biased towards Trump. You know, that's just a reality. You're going to find polls okay. biased towards Kamala. <clears throat> but the one I like to go with is real clear politics. I've used them for a quick minute now. It's very close according to Real Clear Politics. So Trump is currently in the lead, barely. 48.4%. Uh, okay. Harris is at 48.1%. Once again, Real Clear Politics. That's the one I go with. I've been using them since a year right. ago when I was covering the uh, Republican presidential primary on this channel. So right. that's where I think it's at. I think it's very close. And there's obviously been some uh, controversy this week. What else is new? There's always controversy. <laughs> But there's also been, yeah. like, record number of uh, early voting in a lot of the states, and I even went early voted last week. And, yeah, I'm glad I did, because I do not want to stand in line on Election Day, because it's going to be long as hell. So, like, before you continue, like, with your point, what's, what's, like, the deadline for early voting, by the way? Uh, the deadline's like, already like a... I mean, I think today was the last day oh. for early voting, like, Friday. Oh, okay. And, okay. It, and each state's different. Some states may have already wrapped up early voting, but I think in Texas, I think today is officially the last day. Because I, I read some posts on Nextdoor and Facebook about how there was still, like, early voting allowed. And so, I think after today it's over. So I think this is the right. point. So anyone else that still wanted to vote, they have to wait till November 5th, also known as uh, Guy Fawkes uh, Day or Night in the UK. Yeah. So it, it's interesting that the election in the U.S. is on the 5th of November. Very ominous, so yeah, to speak. It is definitely <laughs> ominous. 
Uh, is this the tunnel to nowhere? Or is it? I oh, guess it so. actually is the summer. Okay. Lovely. It's the tunnel to Kamala's America, where it's just a shithole. Yeah. <laughs> There, oh, there's a oh no no th that's where that's where Kamala's. Uh, that's that. No, I'm, no, I'm going in the water. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh no. So what happens if I try to we swim towards Kamala's town over here? Because this one doesn't have a bridge to it, so that makes you wonder. Like, see, look, like that that city over there with the bridge that we can't cross is Kamala's like supporters. Oh no. This is for it all of us. Just me back to the map. Okay. And, and over here, oh no, that's we're not allowed to go to Kamala's special city. No, you can't go. The only Kamala's allowed there, and, and her elites, yeah, and all those only Kamala, Tim wealthy Waltz and donors, the Democrat Party are allowed there. Yeah, it's funny how they they rip on the billionaires that are supporting Trump, yet they say nothing about the billionaires supporting Kamala. Like you know, she has billionaires backing her as well, <laughs> but that that's typical double standard. Nothing there. But yeah, so this was Freedom Town. I, I thought that it would be like other people, so I guess it just puts you in here by yourself. Or like I mean, I think we, hmm? I think we joined like a private lobby when we. Oh, uh, we did. Okay, it good. Up. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to join anyone else, anyways. <laughs> it's, it's probably for the best. It'd probably just be people like spamming the N word or something in there. Yeah, some, some trolling race. purposes. Unfortunately, you 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 have that in online games like Fortnite and uh, Rec Room. I don't really care for yeah. that. Okay, so look. Oh, uh, government issued vehicles, thanks to the Kamala uh, presidency. You'll, you'll get assigned your own vehicle, and it'll probably Hell, be uh, yeah. limited. Uh, you'll only get a certain amount of gasoline per day, or it'll be like totally uh, environmentally friendly, even though you know, like, the electricity for these uh, cars have to come from somewhere. They don't just magically. Nah, man, these are Teslas, even though, like, Elon doesn't yeah, like so Kamala weird, very Teslas much. Teslas are, like, Elon's backing Trump, yet... That, that's gotta be kind of, like, a an interesting situation for for Biden and, and Harris. It's, like, one of the most popular, like, e-vehicle, e like, producers out there is Tesla. And yet, their, their, yeah. their creator, their owner, is uh, not supporting them. <laughs> yeah. That is it's kind of funny if you think about it. Like, if you think about it well and hardly, like, it's very funny. <laughs> Even he doesn't like them. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I think this is enough freedom I can I can handle for one day. It's I I'm with you there, man. This this is, is a very boring map. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. Obviously, they put some money behind this because we get tons of money. Probably totally legitimate. Most of it's probably totally legitimate from actual real Americans, hardworking Americans, but not yeah. not from various other entities or organizations or billionaires using loopholes to, to funnel more monies into the Harris Waltz campaign. That's totally not happening. But yeah, that money has to go somewhere. So a, a small percentage of the money allocated for this goes towards this. The rest of it just magically disappears. <laughs> Uh, so even even if Harris and Waltz lose, financially they promised. <laughs> and they still have their Fortnite map to play. Yeah, yay, this wonderful Fortnite map, which uh, has a lot of promises, uh, but at the same time, yeah, this, this thing should not exist. But, yeah, okay, that's Epic. very cursed. <laughs> Ep Epic's double standards going to look the other way when it comes to their own rules. Anyways, uh, Kane, uh, final thoughts before we uh, wrap up. Um, well, my final thoughts are, um, despite this both being a gaming and a political video, I feel sorry for gamers if this is a map that Kamala wants to win them over with. This yeah. is a shit map. Yeah, just it's just it's <laughs> funny. A lot of people are making that that whole joke about like, "Hello, fellow gamers." That meme. Yeah, it's, it's finally happened. Yeah. This is the equivalent of how you do, fellow kids. <laughs> yeah, how you do, fellow kids. Yeah, that one. And then what? Waltz and AOC were. What were they playing the other night? They were playing something on Twitch. I forgot what it was, but that doesn't really matter. Was it Among Us or? Uh, no, no. She played. I, I, like he... I think. I think AOC, to her credit, I think she is a gamer or she's kind of a gamer. But Waltz <laughs> being a gamer, I think they're playing Madden. If I'm not mistaken, I don't. I don't remember. Why were they matter. playing Matt? 
like, I remember during like I remember during the 2020 like um election like AOC was streaming like uh, Among Us with a bunch of other big streamers. Yeah. Which, which were were totally like you know legitimately like not like always fans to you know of AOC and the Democrats. You know definitely weren't paid or bought for during those streams. Like yeah. they're totally legit. Yeah, but anyways, yay for Freedom Town. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so much freedom. Freedom not to it's cross this free. bridge, freedom not to emote, and freedom not to uh, be able to have guns. Even though Fortnite is basically a gun game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my jeez. So, yeah. Uh, this is what we have to look forward to, Election Day. I'm not looking forward to it. I think it's going to yeah. be close. I don't think, I mean, if it's a landslide, I'll be surprised whether it's a Trump led slide or a Harris landslide. Here's the problem no matter what, you're going to have one side that's going to dispute it. There's going to be recalls, there's going to be lawsuits, millions like spent on it, lawyers are going to make some money off of it. And no matter what, half the country is not going to be happy about the results. Yeah. So, so who knows what's going to happen after Election Day? That, that's why every four years, uh, Halloween is not the scariest day in America. It's only the second scariest day. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I mean, yeah. let's, just, let's just hope, like, the election isn't a close one like 2000 was, because I know that was, like, a oh, yeah, very, very yeah, close uh, election. Um, yeah, Bush, Al Gore, where it was decided by the Supreme Court. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Like, wasn't it 500-something votes in Florida that, yeah, the, like, the, that tipped it for Bush? Yeah, the, the hanging chads. Yeah. That was interesting, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, if it comes to the Supreme Court deciding it, I guess they're gonna they'd probably go for Trump because he's still like majority Republican. But I, I yeah, hope that's like, not the what, case. Six I would, of them. I would like for it to be like a commanding win in the e votes because one thing I don't like about the e votes, and I talked about this before, is it's all or nothing in most states. Even if like a candidate only wins by sixty percent of the vote. Like, I think it should be, like, percentaged. Like, like you get, like, a certain amount of e-votes per state. Like, you get 60% of the e-votes. If you get the majority in that state, the other person gets 40%. I think that's the way it should be. It shouldn't be all or nothing because, it, to be honest, it doesn't seem very fair. Uh, if, for example, let's just say Trump wins Texas. And, and I voted for Trump. Okay, yay. Let's just say I, I yeah. was a Democrat. Now, I could see how Democrats in Republican states would feel like their vote doesn't matter. Just like I can see how Republicans in Democrat states would feel the same way because of the e-vote system. So, yeah. But, yay for elections. And, uh, yeah, I I am very concerned about the, cons the outcome of the election, no matter who wins. But I guess I'll, I'll be covering it one way or the other. I still haven't decided if I'm going to stream it Tuesday night or if I'm just going to do a video, like, going over, I guess you could say, like, round one, like, the next day. I might just do that. Yeah, I guess you could do that. Yeah, like, and say, hey, here, here's the way it looks like, like, day one, like, at the day after the election. Here's who's officially winning at the moment, but here's other issues happening in other states that might uh, take the election this way or that way. But I would, I would like for the record for somebody to have a commanding uh, win. I hope that the election is legitimate, no matter who wins, because there was a lot of uh, discrepancies and concerns about the way things went down in the 2020 election, which a lot of people are still talking about. So I, I hope there's a lot more, I guess, uh, checks and balances, if you will, to ensure that we do have a yeah. legitimate election process. So whoever wins, Trump or Harris, like the majority of Americans will feel like that it was properly vetted and that there's as little shady nonsense that occurs as possible. At least I hope that's the case. But with each election, there's always going to be some degree of, of you know, shadiness happening. But, yeah, a bit of tomfoolery, yeah, so to speak. Yeah, the, the tomfoolery <laughs> will occur, unfortunately. But hopefully we do a better job this election of making sure that that's as small and limited as possible. But who knows? Yeah. I mean, my... Like, my opinion, like, and, and this is, like, my opinion on most elections, the way it should always be counted is, like, paper ballots, in my opinion. Yeah. I I understand why they, they might want to go for electronic stuff, but the problem is, it's, like, I think I, I watched a video of Tulsi Gabbard, like, talking about the problems with it, 
and like it, a, a kid could easily hack into those machines and easily like fiddle with the results of True. it. True. Like it, it's it's that easy. Well, I mean, the interesting thing about paper ballots is a lot of people think it's all old fashioned now, but in Texas, it's the way it worked in Texas. I talked about this the other day. Before we wrap up, by the way, everyone that watched this video, thanks for watching. Uh, so, we had touch screens, okay? We did have touch screens at, at, at the polls in Texas. But you're given a sheet of paper yeah. after you give the person your ID to, to show them that you are the person who is voting. And I am a, a huge supporter of voter ID. I think that, that that's the case for, for most elections. Because if you don't have voter ID, and then then somebody could easily come in claiming to be you, and then your vote's stolen by some random person. So I, I think that voter yeah, ID is important. It's the, uh, it's the same way in the UK as well. When I uh, voted on July 4th, they yeah. asked for my ID as well. Yeah, And most people don't have an it's issue with way, it, yeah. whether they're like Republican, Democrat, Independent. It's just members of the Democrat Party, for some reason, have been pushing this forever. And the only logical reason why they'd be pushing is because they want to cheat. There's no justification for it. It's not that difficult to get uh, a legal ID in order to vote. And you have like two years yeah. between each like congressional election. You have four years between every presidential election. So you have time to go get an ID if you really want to vote. Now, when it comes to the way it worked at the polls in Texas is like once I showed her my ID and once she confirmed it was me and I signed my name electronically and you know confirmed it was me, uh, she gave me a, a, like a piece, like a paper strip, right? And I would put the paper strip into the voting machine. And then do touch screen, I would vote for who I want to vote for. And then I would look over it and confirm it. And then it would print the results on that strip of paper and it would come out. And I would look over the strip of paper to make sure it was correct, right? And then I get into the final line where you, you put the strip of paper into the, I guess, the vote counter. So that's the way they do paper ballots now, is they, they still use technology. So in order to quickly tabulate the the, the, the poll numbers, like for president, uh, the, we have a Senate race in Texas, we have congressional races, we have uh, state race. Well, I don't know if we have, do we have state races, but you know, state and local races as well. So yeah, you can still do paper ballots with the technology that we have now, thanks to you know, computers and touch screen. So it, it's a really awesome hybrid, but at least there's like that paper ballot at the end of the day that I think that we, we definitely should have for all elections. For, you know, federal elections, presidential elections, congressional, senatorial, state, local elections. Because, like you said, it's been proven time and time again that it's not 100% safe and somebody could always go in, either like a lone hacker or an entity, in order to tweak the numbers to their, to their desire. But at least with paper ballots, you can back that up because it's physical, not digital. So yeah, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of uh, the uh, paper ballot system and voter ID. So yeah, I think that's yeah. uh, pretty much it for our thoughts and views and opinions regarding the election and for uh, the uh, Freedom Town. So much freedom. Yeah. So much freedom I want to leave, but the game won't let you leave. That's Well, you can actually leave. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, you can leave by the main menu. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> only Look, I only favored it so I could, I could uh, find it. Okay. Yeah. I'm unfavoring it now. He doesn't want to have to memorize the island code for it. <laughs> well, there's the island code, which I kept trying to punch in. It didn't work for some reason. But I did. I did. Oh. I went deep down into the list of different uh, created maps before I finally found it. So, yeah. Now, now that we've been here, I have no desire to come back. So I'm, I'm, I'm leaving that nonsense. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here too. <laughs> yeah. But uh, overall, uh, final thoughts regarding Freedom Town and. Uh, Anything else you wish to say? Well, I guess, yeah, s s similar to what I said earlier, it's a very, very shit map. I why, why was this agree. made? Well, it was made, <laughs> why, why? it's obviously it was made for propaganda. What else is new? Yeah. It's like, who I, whose idea was this? <laughs> like, this is terrible. Yeah, well, obviously somebody, somebody connected to the, it could have been one of like uh, maybe it was one of Kamala's stepkids. I don't know who who the hell knows. Oh god! But somebody had no, maybe a bad it was idea. Her, one of her like maybe it was her kid that made the map. I don't know because I think one of her stepkids is like really politically active as well. But oh, okay, 
but maybe it was the that idea was, and you know it was hunter biden who made the map <laughs> he, made it, he made it in between well, with, with his laptop yeah whatever <laughs> yeah he used his laptop to make it bro i don't i don't think hunter <laughs> biden would would know how to make a like a low level map but anyways <laughs> yeah i mean It'd be too spanked it would be jeez Clearly, a lot of a lot of campaign. Well, probably not a lot of campaign funds, but I could imagine at least six digits worth, maybe seven digits of monies. I don't. Maybe that's too high of a number. But either way, some people were paid for this, and some of that money has probably conveniently disappeared into other people's pockets. <laughs> we'll never know. But what I do know is that this is obviously, as I stated already, a clear violation of Epic's terms and services. But I, I guess the, the the paycheck that they're getting from the, the Harris Waltz campaign was enough to make them uh, turn a blind eye, along with whatever promises was made behind uh, closed doors if Harris ends up winning the presidency. But, uh, Kane, thank you once again for uh, joining me on this uh, misadventure into Freedom Town. So, uh, you're welcome, man. It, like, this this was a, an experience, to say the least. <laughs> yes, it was. An experience I do not wish to uh, revisit. <laughs> Yeah, same here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding Freedom Town USA. Welcome, as always, below in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs>